Ukrainian police officers are trying to convince these families it's time to go. The sounds of explosions can be heard loud and clear from here. It's a constant reminder that we are not far from the front lines in this village of eastern Ukraine's Donbass region. Let's go while we're here. Come on. No, we're not going. We haven't decided yet. I'll call you when I decide. Inside the house, the woman's mother, 73-year-old Paraskovia, who withheld her surname, enjoys a rare sunny day in this cloudy, cold winter to fix a jacket. She says the last weeks were loud, with artillery explosions happening all the time. The situation, you know, always this loud rumbling, it scares me a bit. It's scary. Despite the risks, Paraskovia's family decided to stay. They say they don't have anywhere to go. After almost 10 years of battles in this region of Donbass, the front line has appeared to be coming closer since the fall of Avdiivka, a strong road Ukrainians lost February. Since then, Russian troops have been advancing in this area, slowly but steadily. Russian troops are less than five kilometers from Ocheretino, but the town is already destroyed. This train departs every day from Pokrovsk, the biggest city in this region, not far from here. It takes away those who believe that the war is getting too close to them. The war is coming. We can hear it. We see it on TV. Pokrovsk is being bombed. Katerina lives in one of the villages west of Avdiivka that is still under Ukrainian control. She is sending her granddaughter to a safe place far from the front lines. Tanya is just 15, but Katerina, like many civilians in this war, says she prefers to face the battles rather than become a refugee. At the train station, many soldiers who fought in the bloody battle of Avdiivka are finally going home to rest. My heart was left there. This is the only thing I can say. We did it for them. In the last two years, Monia has left the front lines only twice. During the chaotic retreat from Avdiivka, he met Tanya and her grandmother. They stayed together in the last days. And now he's responsible for taking the young girl to her mother in central Ukraine. But in his eyes, it's easy to see that he's also taking back home the horrors of a brutal war that seems far from ending. Yabuesha, VOA News, Pokrovsk, Ukraine.